thought it was a straight body punch. West snaps that jab. West is alluded to 16 and 1. Current IFBA Super Bantamweight champ. An auspicious start to round number one for Olivia. Slate of free. We mentioned a lot of fights that Olivia Gorilla has been in. 35 years of age. Four weeks to prepare for this fight. Former WBC featherweight champ. She went downstairs right there. Connected against West. West is a very good defensive fighter. Her father, Juan West, is her boxing trainer manager. Kalisha West won a title on Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy card. First female to headline on Sugar Shane Mosley promotion. So both these two have great boxing background, boxing pedigree. They have just solid records, and they've fought for titles, and they've won titles. So very interesting round number one plays in the favor of Kalisha West, who scores that knockdown, make it a 10-8 round if it sticks, and it does. So a 10-8 round, five seconds into this one, Gorilla goes down, and you wonder if Olivia, you can see she's pretty animated, her hands are up in the air, she's frustrated. Bottom line is you got to fight through it. It is what it is. They ruled it a knockdown, so be it. We'll see how she recovers. As I mentioned, she fought several times, lost to Frida Wahlberg for the WBC Female Super Featherweight title. She also fought one of the all-time greats, Maureen Shea, fought Sandy Sagaris for the Canadian Super Featherweight title, lost that in a majority decision, drew a draw against Mia St. John. Listen, she has fought everyone. That's why you love her as a fighter. She does not sidestep anyone at all. She fights who they put in front of her. She told me, hey, Rich, I took this fight on four weeks. I'm ready to go. Now, Kalisha West came in in very good shape. I saw her the other day in the hotel at the fitness center. She was trying to sweat off the last couple pounds. It was mostly water weight. She knew she was going to come in perfect. She came in at 126. Um, also, you got to look at the age. 11 years, or I should say 9 years younger than her opponent. So we'll see how it plays out in round number 2. See if Olivia comes out guns blazing against Kalisha after that first round knockdown that has a score right now. 10 8 in favor of the wild one. Oh, good exchange. Again, another left by Kalisha West. Good hawk. That stung Olivia. West does not mind if you come in a little bit. As I alluded to, she's a good counterpuncher. She sets everything off that jab we just saw right there. She just peppered that left jab. Chess match going on round number two. Slater for eight. Gorilla and West. St. Germain breaks them apart. They meet back in the center of the ring. Good combination. Another sweeping left by West. That scores. They'll get tied up again. So Olivia trying to press the action in round number two. See if she can take this round. Get back in this one. They have about 10 rounds. Still very early. Slater for eight. Championship rounds. If it goes that far. Six, seventh, and eighth rounds. Close out a great night of boxing. The crown. Plaza Hotel in Gatineau, Quebec, Canada. Well, this one might not be pleasing on the eyes. It seems early on that Olivia is going to try to tie up Kalisha West. And again, you wonder if the four weeks training had anything to do. West hasn't fought in a year, but she constantly and consistently trains. I'm not saying that Olivia doesn't, but four weeks to prepare, short notice, an adjustment period. Good body shots by West. Good action to close in on two of the books. Steve St. Germain just warns both fighters, keep the shots and the gloves up a little higher. Alicia West, 16-1 in three, four knockouts. Has not fought in two years. 
She had those tough losses started, her career winning 10 in a row, until she dropped an eight-round unanimous decision bound to Ava Knight for the IFBA North American Bantamweight title. She actually came back, fought Knight again in 2011. That was a controversial draw. If she would have won that one, she would have defended her WBO Bantamweight title four times. As we alluded to, she's the current IFBA Super Bantamweight champ because of her win, her dominating win against Christina Cruz. That was the last time she fought up until tonight. We take a look at Olivia Gorilla's corner. Top ranked lightweight in Canada, number eight in the world. She's fought everyone. Also fought Hamilton, Ontario native Jessica Rozaski, who was 33 and 3 in her career. Heck of a fighter out of Canada in her own right. Or at least ages round number three. West in the black. Gorilla in the red colors. Canadian colors, if you will. Good combination by West. They'll both let their hands go a little bit in round number three. A little more spirited action here. Some body work being done respectively by both fighters. Olivia's trying to get inside a little bit, work the body. That'll negate that jab. Good right, that scores. West with a counter of her own. The problem is she keeps walking into these punches, and Kalisha West is scoring. Have her two rounds in, two in the books. 2017 right now, 10 8, 10 9, respectively. Slated for eight. Good straight right by Olivia. She might be content making just an ugly, ugly fight, a brawl. Maybe take Kalisha West out of her comfort zone. Veteran fighters have a way to be crafty. They'll take it to the line. They might not cross the line, but they'll take it to the line. That right almost landed. Good body shots by Olivia. Now it's Kalisha West backing her back up in the center of the ring. crowd is it a just a silent silent uh just very silent right now waiting for something to happen some fireworks if you will round number three little extracurricular activities by the veteran 